Alright, it's time for another unboxing, guys. This time it's something really new that just came out. Maybe you could guess. It's a GPU. I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox it quickly. Because I can't wait to do some benchmarks and compare it against my current GTX 980 or 780 Ti. Gigabyte version. As you can see here, 980Ti, part titanium. Let's unbox it. I don't know, I have something for Gigabyte. I love Gigabyte. They've always overclocked good on me and stuff, so that's why I chose Gigabyte. Could have chosen UVGA, but gonna have to be next time, I guess. Oh, look at this beauty. This is so beautiful. Very nicely packed. It also comes with a Batman Arkham Knights voucher. This doesn't go further off, I think. Hard, close up. Pretty heavy. The first time I purchased a red face card, which is cool. Or actually, a reference card from NVIDIA. I have done it with AMD before. So, out of the box, out of the DSD thingy and this looks nice looks just as any other reference card but it also says gigabyte here as you can see and the GeForce GTX which I think lights up I'm still gonna be water cooling it pretty soon not now but soon gotta get hold of a Titan X block first and also I'm gonna remove this Shiny. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have removed it, but we gotta test it and see how it performs. And we have here, as you probably know, six pin and an eight pin part connectors. And I think that's about it. I'm gonna do some benchmarks and compare it to my current 780Ti, and I might do a video about that, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so I've been messing around with this card for the past couple days and I have to say the over the OC percent potential of this card is just very very impressive. Um, I've been messing around uh, with the BIOS so I made some custom BIOS. I think I found my sweet spot which is around uh, 1456 megahertz on the core and about um, 300 or 7600 megahertz on the memory but uh, just for fun I went ahead and, and tried to go for max overclock just to do some benchmarks and shit and drum roll here are the results and this is on air by the way 1480 on the core So pretty damn near 1500 So pretty impressive in my opinion and that's still on air. I haven't got any water block yet I ordered but it'll take at least a week to arrive so I'll have to stick with air for now Maybe I can push it a little further when I get water block, but I'm not sure Probably not because um, I'm cracking up the fan all the way to 90%, so um, the temperature stays below 80 degrees. 
so I doubt that I'll get better results or better overclocking with over with water. So this is your normal fire strike, the extreme, but somehow with the extreme at fourteen eighty, I get graphic score of nine thousand five hundred and eleven, and when I use the original BIOS which goes which by the way the original BIOS doesn't uh, doesn't stay stable the turbo clock doesn't stay stable it fluctuates and that's what I don't like about it so uh, my current version is uh, stable when it comes to uh, boost clocks so it doesn't throttle back down uh, until unless the temperature reaches 91 degrees, of course. But, uh, yeah, that's why I messed up, I messed around with the BIOS and modified them for my own liking. But somehow, I think uh, this 9,535 with the original BIOS compared to the 9,511 with uh, this one is because I have uh, I think 2 megahertz or something more uh, on the core with the max turbo on the original BIOS and that's why I got a better graphics course so I think that's why but I just don't know why otherwise if it would have been otherwise but ultra almost 5,000 points 4,926 on the graphics score and 1480 with the original bios at like 1482 or something i don't remember exactly but i think it was 1482 i got like 4700 and something or almost 14 4800 but as, it, as you can see it's pretty damn close to 5000 this one because of the stable turbo frequency that does not fluctuate up and down that's what I love about the modifying BIOS and so you can have your own your own uh, customized turbo frequency for gaming and stuff so yeah if you would like to do the same then make sure that you have you find your your max stable overclock for gaming not for benchmarking and you go ahead and use the Maxwell BIOS uh, tweaker and you just tweak. There is a guide on overclock.net uh, and you can just tweak the settings so uh, so when it boosts it doesn't go up and down, it doesn't fluctuate, it just boosts up to to the to your desired frequency or your max overclock frequency. And it stays there unless you, or until you finish gaming, and then it goes back down to idle, which is the best possible performance that you can get. And this is about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.